Welcome everybody, happy Halloween. Honored to be joined by my co-host, Eli Chad Powers Manning, the legendary walk-on quarterback at Penn State. Eli, looking a little different tonight. It's a little hot in there. How you feeling? Yeah, sorry, Pete. I was just uh, I was trick-or-treating with the fam. I was running a little late. I just had to run right in here and, and sit down and get started. So uh, I, I'm ready, but uh, why are you wearing a ref jersey that's way too small? Well, Eli, if you recall, week one, I was giving uh, Cleet Blakeman, the head NFL referee, a hard time about this small, tight jersey he had on. Cleet mailed me a jersey. He autographed it on the back, actually. Wanted to give a little shout-out to all referees. They take a lot of heat each week. Want to show that we support our NFL referees. So it's a boys' medium. It is a little snug, um, but that's what I'm going with tonight. Anyway, oh, here it is. Yeah, I like how you had to kind of pull your neck out. You had your neck tucked in well. <laughs> nice form. Oh, Ooh, how's my how hair look? better does that feel? Oh. oh. Yes, thank you. My now eyebrows, people, my hair is a little messed up. Now people will tune back in, hopefully. <laughs> I scared them off. It is Halloween. You have to have a scary mask. Garrett tipped it. I'm calling a flag on the tip ball. I hate tip balls. It should be banned. <laughs> on the field Put a petition in to the commissioner to get tip balls banned. I mean, Miles Garrett, of all people, should never tip a ball. He should be upfield, close to the quarterback, right? He got no pass rush there. He stops and jumps. It's a run play, though. It causes the interception. It's a, it was a run care. play. It was a design run. I don't run. care. I'm done with this, shirt, this jersey, too. Tight. Can't breathe in here. Clubbed him, right? He fit him inside. The, the defender was outside. He clubbed him with that right hand. I always wanted to hurdle somebody. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Oh, uh, that would be funny. That would be pure entertainment. You just kind of hurdle somebody. Nice job with the club, getting outside, giving Brissett a good angle to throw. That's good run defense. Vinovich. Holding. Vinovich. Offense 71. <laughs> Ten yard penalty. I'm surprised you didn't know that you never, that you, I mean, that, that would be something you would think you would have some stats on while you were playing that, You've never won a game with this guy. I was, always, I was always nice to him. I talked to him before the game. How's the family? How's your golf game? He was always talking about his back. He had back, you know, my back's feeling better, Peyton. Thank you, Bill. I'm just fascinated with your back problems. 0 oh, and 7. Check a couple of holding calls. I think he called. And nothing, he had nothing against me. He liked oh, me. 8. Yeah. 4 and 3. Solid record. It's <laughs> No, you don't have to worry about that. I'm not Marshawn Lynch. You're not going to have to beat me out tonight, uh, Eli. I'm just saying that, uh, quite frankly, thank God you took that mask off. That's all I can tell you. Uh, and I will say this, you know, I find you guys to be distracting. You're too funny. Both of you guys together are funny, and that's what I was talking about, saying, you know, you guys distract me from watching the game. <laughs> that's our crowd. We want people who want to be distracted, I think. That's right. That's who we're looking for. You know, I heard you guys in pregame talking about Dude. what he's going to be able to do. And listen, if uh, if Miles Garrett's going to be all over him like that, he's going to miss <laughs> everybody tonight. <laughs> Man, I hate defense. They tried to chip him. Like that. They actually just they ruin the whole game. And you your whole family watching and chip. everything else. And then he throws you to the ground like this. <laughs> they had a chip on him. The God. running back chipped. He chipped him chipped out of him the off way. Of him. Yep. Off of him a little bit. You thought Ty Law was bad with Marvin Harrison. You should have seen oh, these two guys. Oh. Well, how about oh, another Marvin, Har Marvin Harrison never threw an interception to a DB. Great idea for a trick play <laughs> until the receiver throws it right to a cover two corner, Eli. Uh, I don't oh, think uh, I, don't, I don't think receivers work on going to their progressions very much, Boomer. Clearly, the first read was not open. Throw it away. Uh, wow. Uh, let's just stick to playing receiver, uh, Amari. But uh, Boomer, stay with us. we got some more questions. Quick turnover. Good field yeah. position for the Bengals here. Let's see what Joe can do. Pat McAfee is smiling I right now, Coach Boomer, Coward is all I know. Would love this. Yeah, of course he would. <laughs> Coward, Coward and would Pat love McAfee this. I don't like are it. loving this. <laughs> yes. Yes, they are. <laughs> All right, Boomer, we, we, we kind of teased it earlier, right? Last season, Joe Burrow said the Bengals were playing so well because there was nothing to do in Cincinnati. Were things a little livelier in Cincinnati when you play specifically 
because back then you co-owned the nightclub with Collinsworth that was named, and I'm not making this up, La Boom? La Boom? Yeah, we're good, we're good. Yeah. Yes, La Boom is right, and it was a part of the waterfront. We had a general partner, his name was Jeff Ruby. During the 1987 player strike, I woke up one morning, picked up the Cincinnati Inquirer, and Jeff Ruby banned the entire team from the waterfront, the restaurant that Collinsworth and I owned. And I remember saying to Chris, I called him up, I said, Chris, did Jeff actually ban us as well? Because if he did, I'm taking my money out of the restaurant. <laughs> but uh, he took a, he banned the whole entire team because we got into a couple fights in the, in the bar with, I think, a, a as, movie crew that was doing, you shooting fresh horses. Yes. As you should, yeah, as you should. Brilliant. <laughs> I guess Joe might have to uh, have get his own nightclub. Yeah, what do you think? You, you recommend, would that be your advice to Joe? He's got to create his own nightclub there in Cincinnati to have a little fun? Uh, I think Joe's doing fine. You know fine. what? I, I would fine. not recommend that to Joe, no. There were a lot of headaches and there were a lot of unpaid bills by teammates. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> Boomer, you know, I don't know if you know this or not, but Peyton likes to endorse and do a lot of commercials. And I think he also is thinking about uh, rating other players when they're in a commercial and how well they do. Back in the day, you did some commercials for Haynes. How would you, uh, was this underrated acting right here? What do you think? I was all about the beefcake, boys. I wasn't about the acting. Sorry about that. <laughs> Me and my Newfoundlands there in my, uh, my underwear commercial. I don't know, have you guys ever done an underwear commercial? <laughs> Never been asked. No. Never been asked. <laughs> I think I would audible out. Of, I think I would Omaha out of that one if they asked me for sure. <laughs> uh, yes, you would be. Uh, Omaha, Omaha. Yes. Omaha, real fast. Boomer, you've obviously hosted oh, a New York hit sports talk show since 2007. You get a lot of people calling in, talking about the Giants. For a long time, of course, a lot of calls were about Eli. I assume all those calls were pretty positive about Eli, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. And I was very positive about Eli, especially late yeah. in his career. I, yeah, I will say positive. this. You know, in 2000, Eli, in 2007, man, they wanted you and Coughlin out of here. And then all of a sudden, you guys went on that run and went all the way to the Super Bowl. And I, and I basically said that you were going to win the Super Bowl. I never got a thank you note from you, by the way. <laughs> And my partner bet me, and the fact that you went to the Super Bowl, he had to cross the Brooklyn Bridge in a Speedo at that time and then had a hemorrhoid after me after it. So, uh, you know, I never got a thank you note from you for being in your corner and supporting you through all of those tough times. Okay, so uh, you write had your one thank you show. Notes. Write you your had thank one you show where you supported me and the, the 10,000 other shows you, you know, went against me, and I'm supposed to write you a thank you note? Yes, yes. It's a, a, a southern, a, 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 being a southern gentleman. Write your thank you notes, handwritten, no emails. Sorry. That's incomplete. That's incomplete. That was not a catch. Yeah, they're gonna review this. They gave, I didn't think it was a catch either. But I will, I will, I will they, say this, Eli. You've given me a lot of things to talk about over the year, and for that, <laughs> I will never be able for, uh, to say enough thank yous. No doubt. Thank you, Boomer. Thank you. <laughs> there you go. Play action. No. Go. This is good. Oh, a hurdle. A hurdle. hurdle. God. You He's rubbing you it in my face. Field in high school, you, do like a, you do a 100-meter high hurdle, Pate? Was that, your, was that your event in track? Yeah, play action. Why would you go play action when you can do that, Eli? Give it to Chubb. Let's not be greedy, Cleveland. They got everybody pinned inside right there. Perfect angles. Great movie. Are we still talking about underwear or are we talking All right. about Eli, 16 seconds. This is, hey, be careful. I throw this out of bounds. Throw it out of bounds. No sacks. Can't take a sack. Right. Oh. Yeah, he listened to you. Oh. Just barely. Whoa. You, you trying to give me a heart attack, Jacoby. Just <laughs> throw it away. You love oh, six, Eli, Eli, I've always thought 16 seconds was kind of the cutoff here. Oh, no, not the replay of this. Whew. Knee down. 16 seconds was always what we thought was kind of the cutoff, Eli. We thought 15 seconds, you had to throw it out of bounds. You couldn't throw it in play. 16 seconds, you might get it off with one second. So 11 to nothing, Eli. I thought the baseball game was delayed. I didn't know we had a baseball game here. <laughs> Tim, Bottom of the fifth. Up. 
All right, we're back. Who wore it best? I think I wore it best, right? Hey, do you, do you know that's Dwight Schrute, top left. Dwight. Dwight, for uh, sure. It's Michael Myers. That's not Jason, I think, you know, but same thing. I don't know who's bottom That's you, bottom left, maybe? Who is that? I'm not sure. But I think I wore it best. I don't think so. I don't think so. Oh, well. So, uh, where's Mrs. Doubtfire? Where's Robin Williams? That's, that's who you look like. Coming up, Travis and Jason Kelsey. Fired up to have these guys. Oh, look at these outfits. Are they in quarter zips? They're in they quarter zips. Wow. I mean, a lot of kids out there in Jason Kelsey costumes tonight. <laughs> I don't know if there's going to be many uh, kids out there in that outfit, but uh, Lane certainly killed it. Uh, that was uh, one of the highlights before the game yesterday. Uh, got the locker room really fired up to play the Steelers, to say the least. And Peyton, I don't know if you know this, but that was from a bar in New Jersey yes. called it, The Ocean Drive. It, it, and the they Jersey actually had shore. a picture the of OG. you. Yeah, they got a picture of you in that shirt somewhere. So I you remember, paved the way I, in many ways for us football players. Well, it was an honor to wear that shirt. One of my friends asked the bar owner, hey, how do I get one of those shirts? Like, nobody gets those shirts. You have to work here for 10 years. Next thing you know, I'm wearing one behind the bar. So that was a real honor. What was life like as a Browns fan? And two, do you ever still dress up as Bernie Kosar? <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm, I look about as drunk as half the Brown Stadium right now in that picture. Um, but growing up in Cleveland was the best, man. Absolutely, absolutely loved it. A uh, huge sports town that absolutely pours everything into, into the, the Browns, the Cavs, and now the Guardians. Um, just, a, just a whole lot of fun and a whole lot of competitiveness. You know, as, as, the, as the Cleveland sports, you know, love grows. You know, me and Jason had the, uh, the Kelsey uh, Sports Complex uh, where we were breaking every window and every piece of wood that was in our house. Um, and it really kind of drove us to, to become, you know, professional athletes, or at least had the desire to want to become one for sure. Tell me the truth. How exciting is it just to watch your brother snap the ball for three hours? Is, that, is it that fun? <laughs> well, uh, I, I tend to have a blast doing it. Uh, didn't look like I was having too much fun there because they were already up 30 points in the second quarter, but... Um, watching Jason play Ooh, is a little bit different again. than watching a lot of other linemen. He, he plays the game with a little more athleticism, likes to get up on the second level, so it's, it's almost like I'm watching a receiver block uh, the entire, a tight end block the entire again, time. Again, not that exciting. Um, I, I mean, a lot of, no one wants to watch a receiver block all day. <laughs> Eli, you're trying to tell me you don't like it when you see a guy like James Hudson go in motion and, and absolutely knock out the uh, the outside true. linebacker, kick him out. That's some exciting. That is true. I didn't like that. Electric like, plays like right that there. Better. Shout out to Jay Hudson, man. I like play action. They <laughs> yeah, need exactly. more play action. Cleveland, I've been calling for it all game. They finally called it. They did. Nothing, nothing better than, than scoring a touchdown after throwing a pick, boys. I'll tell you what. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Have you thrown a pick before? Have you thrown an interception, Travis? Eli, are oh, you yeah. trying? Are you, is this fun? Because I threw it against you, Eli. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is, you don't remember it? <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I wrote you a thank you note after. In I the did. in the Meadowlands, baby. It was one. It was yeah. one, one of my. One of my favorite throws ever. It was uh, Coach Reed installed the play as I had one guy to throw to, and it was Tyreek Hill. And I just I peeked backside, and I was like, he's open. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, wasn't supposed to have a read or progression on the play, but man, I'll tell you what, sometimes those football instincts just take over. Well, you know, I, he was on the same team, but we nice never actually dash. got to play with each other because, yeah, he was uh, unfortunately ineligible both of my senior years in high school and in college, so I never actually got to play right when it mattered most. He bailed on me when it mattered You're most throw me to under me. The bus on he was on the sideline. Jason? That's right. Why That's are right. you ineligible? Right. Why you kidding are you ineligible? Me? I, need, I need the story here. <laughs> uh, well, well, in high school, it was a French class. It's going to class, Eli. You know, you got to go in, to class. In, in and, college, um, it was Bourbon Street. There was the a lot of bad weather. <laughs> so, right, kids. You heard it here from Travis Kelsey. Go to class. You could be eligible go to play with your brother. Kids. 10, red zone here, E. This is where he liked Chase. A little way, zone coverage here, Travis. Where's Travis Kelsey down the middle on a little seam route? Yeah, yeah. 
Five wide. Oh, yeah, the oh what a catch. Tip drop. Oh, there you go. Catch there. They're on the board. On the board. There you go. What does that one mean, Ty? I haven't seen that. What does that excited. mean? Keep me up to speed. What is that celebration he did? Waving his hand in front of the face oh, mask. No. You don't know that one? You said you know, know sign language. Somebody stinks. That's in sign language. You said the sign Somebody language. Somebody stinks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I passed sign language. I didn't learn too much. I learned the alphabet. That was about it. Yeah, you know, oh, it's just crazy. It's like you see him. Look at him up there. Look at this. No, none of us invited him to our shows. He's up there with. Look at him. He's up there with everybody. It's and he like, like steals uh, the mic from you. It's like you're singing. The fans don't want to hear him. He's like pushing you out of the way to take control yeah. of the mic. It's the equivalent of me walking out on the field like during a Broncos <laughs> game and taking a snap. Hey, get but out he of here. He doesn't get, get out that. Of here. He never has gotten that. Never. <laughs> Yeah, they don't let strangers come out and take a snap during a game. That is the difference. And you can run and have a, you know, spray pink powder and have a cape on and get hit by a linebacker. You cannot take a snap. I think it needs to be pointed out. We took a lot of flack last year. They called it the Manning Cash curse. Every player that we had on lost the next week. That is over with, my friend, because Saquon, your boy Saquon came on and just went out there and got the win. This is last year, look at this. Everybody, Russell, Travis, Gronk, Stafford, Brady, Allen. Rodgers didn't play against Detroit. I'll give, I'll give him a pass, yet the Packers lost, but it was real. I mean, when, when, the, when the Bills lost to the Jaguars, I was like, wow, we've got a problem, right? I thought Josh I Allen was busted. I can't call anybody and ask them to be on the show. Like, you couldn't, like, you'd feel guilty. I wouldn't have gone on the show if I was but, playing. Under 20, those circumstances. It's a new year. Your boy Saquon broke it. Jalen Hurts kept it alive. And I feel good about the Chiefs and the Eagles winning next week.